right, today I'm checking out the complete range of pedalboard flight cases from Castle Cases. Castle Cases are based in Staffordshire in the UK, uh, and they specialize in bespoke custom flight cases built to ATA touring standards to suit a whole different range of needs. So what I wanted to do today is just to look at the three different pedal board cases that they build, um, discuss how they differ, what they do, um, and then hopefully you can kind of decide which of the three is going to be most suitable for you. So the three we've got, we've got the standard one, which is down here on the floor. Um, we've got the deluxe one there at the back and the pro at the front. One thing to note, um, the size of these three in particular cases is kind of negligible because you specify your own cases. Uh, you decide exactly what sizes you want your board to be and then you build it to match that. So it doesn't really matter that this is the smallest and that's the largest and so on because you would specify what size you want it to be built to. Um, the deluxe and the standard are similar in one way that they both have these lids that you lift off and your pedals are just underneath and they're held on by clasps on the side there. Um, but the great thing with all these boards is the pedals are all wired up underneath and just ready to go. Um, so you kind of take the lid off, plug your output lead in, plug your input lead in and plug your power lead in and they're all ready to gig. So, you know, it's really speedy for, for setup and packing up. Um, so let's discuss what they've got in common, first of all, and then I'll break down each individual one and just discuss how they differ. So they're all manufactured from 7mm birch plywood, which is these hexaboard panels that you can see on the sides here. Um, and you have the choice of either black, blue or red. Um, and they all have these carpet covered boards that your pedals go on. Now the, the pedals themselves, you put Velcro strips on them. As you can probably see on the bottom, I've got Velcro strips that come with the cases and then they just Velcro onto the board and you kind of arrange them wherever you want them to be. Um, and the actual board itself lifts out here. So the carpet board underneath is removable. It's got little feet underneath and then there's space for all your wiring underneath that. So essentially you'd wire all your pedals up, put them in place and you'd send all the wires underneath the board and you can kind of have it coming out at the gap at the side and going to your rig. So yeah, um, that's how they are all the same. What I'm going to do then is just go through each individual one um, and tell you how they differ from one another. So I may as well start with the standard because that's the one that I've got here. Um, the standard has got an internal usable height of 100 millimeters above the board. So if you've got pedals that are any taller than 100 millimeters, you'll need a different one. But this is 100 millimeters and the size of the case, as you can probably see here, are made of metal. In direct comparison, the other two have got the hexaboard sides on them. The standard one's the only one that's got the metal sides on it. Um, so that's the standard one. I'm going to go through the other two and just check out what they do as well. All right, so this is a deluxe pedal board case then. The major difference between the deluxe and the standard range is the fact that the deluxe one has 150 millimeters of usable height as opposed to 100 millimeters. Uh, so that just means you've got space for some higher pedals. Um, we've also got these Velcro strips here that you can see. These come with all of them. Um, they're just cut to size with the scissors. You stick them to the bottom of your pedals and then you can arrange them on the carpet bottom. Um, you can probably see as well on the side of the case there, we've got a handle, which they all have. This one's a little bit more sturdy than the standard handle. Um, and the Deluxe has hexaboard sides, whereas the standard has metal sides. Um, I can take this board out here just to show you. Again, they all have removable boards. Um, and the idea is it's got little feet that raise it off the bottom of the flight case. So you can have all your cabling run underneath. You place all your pedals on the top and you feed all your cables underneath and you put your board back in the case and that means it keeps all your cabling tidy and you just feed the outputs and inputs into this hole in the corner here. So that's the deluxe case. I'm going to show you the, the pro case now then because that's slightly different. And finally then we've got the pro range pedal board case which differs from the others in that it's got this hinge top. Um, so you would essentially just open it up rather than taking the top right off. And the concept is a little bit different because it's got a removable internal board that comes right out and that goes in front of you on stage. You've got the carpet top like the others with the Velcro strips just for sticking to your pedals and just to keep them all on the board. 
So that's all three then. Um, that's how they differ. That's what they do. Um, the advantages of all three of these, they're going to protect your pedals. You know, they're going to keep them really safe. Um, they're waterproof, basically bomb proof. Um, and they've got the other advantage of being able to set up really quickly and take down really quickly. You just take the lid off or open the lid, take the thing out and you're off. Um, plug in your input, plug in your output and your power cable and it's, it's good to go. Keeps your wiring really neat and tidy as well underneath the board so you've got no mess of cables going on there. So if you need a good pedal board case, go check out castlecases.co.uk. Best flight cases on the market.